Hello again, gang. It is your Black Knight, and I sound a little beat. It's because I've spent the last couple days here, at least. Is it two days? Three days? I don't know. I've got at least 12, 14 hours. 12 and a half hours based on the fact that I am now out of grenades. I can do that much math. Grinding away at this game. This, this thing they call GTA Online. Alternating between stealing Sand Kings and selling them for profit. For fun and profit, but later on mostly for profit. And grinding over and over and over the Lazy Contacts playlist, which uh, consists of the, the, the contact mission blow up. The contact mission, Death Metal. Uh-huh. Great. And the contact mission, Blow Up 3. Blow Up 2 is kind of a pain in the buns. There's police and stuff, you know. I've been doing this because I was down to around, oh, I don't know, $360,000 in the bank, and I had to get myself to two million. Because what has happened, you see, is that they have put the pariah, the ocelot pariah, on sale at 30% off, which puts it just under a million. And just under a million is just great. That's just lovely, except here's the deal. I mean, really, the only reason the Pariah hasn't been the must-have car for sports car races is because it's a Pariah. Nobody really wants it. There's a lot of resentment to it. It's like, look, we had a nice balanced sports car class here, and now you introduced this thing that is way faster than any of the supercars, let alone the sports cars. It's a... Uh, you know, the only thing faster in a straight line is the Viscerous, and that's because that is glitched out like crazy. And, of course, because it's a million and a half dollars normally, so a lot of people haven't purchased it. But once you, if there's that whole psychological thing. Once it goes below, you know, one million, even if it's only by six grand, there's that, the kind of the 1995 effect, where it's no, it's, no, it's less than $20, so people are going to, buy this thing in, in spades here. There's going to be like tons of pariahs all over the place. And now when you have a sports car race, you're going to be having a pariah race. And I have two characters that do racing. I got, you know, my standard Black Knight character named Vince. And I've got the, uh, of course, the uh, the Rusty Jack. Rusty Jack character over here who's, you know, in the, in the cowboy hat with all the orange going on with them. That's my other character. I don't know why we're limited to two characters. Grant you, I mean, I couldn't imagine trying to, you know, keep up with more than that, but we're stuck with two characters. And, um, yeah, so now I really kind of needed two pariahs, which is about two million dollars worth. And you would think, well, how long could it take for you to crank through and get two pariahs together? I've been killing myself. I mean, it's really been just, it's taking up way too much of my life trying to crank through all this stuff. And I am just just sick of doing it. It's really totally, totally sick of looking at this game at this point. It is really ruined it for me. I can't, I can't, I, I'm getting these two cars and I don't know when I'm going to play the game again because I've really, really burnt myself out on it so terribly. I mean, you know, it doesn't sound like, oh, that's only 12 hours of gameplay. How long? But when you're just grinding it, trying to beat a date because you know uh, and there, there's other things, too, like along with this is we have this whole tax rebate thing. So, it, you know, it's the deal is even better because for every for that two million, I'm just going to spend on these cars. I'll get um, what? Two hundred thousand back. So it's it's even it's an even better deal. It's like you're getting a hundred thousand back on each car. So they're really only eight hundred thousand dollars in the long run. So pe people are gonna be snapping these things up because it really is the uh, the creme de la creme of the uh, the whole sports car thing. Now I have a theory, 
And my theory is, is that eventually, and probably in the short term, these are going to be nerfed. Now, Bruffy1322 has said, and I'll put a link in the description to the video where he says this, uh, that they are not going to be nerfed because of the structure of things. The RE7B was nerfed because there was a, a, a downforce. There was a glitch involved, and it wasn't an actual thing, which may mean that the Viscerous will be, you know, you know, nerfed at some point, but he does not believe. He believes this is how this car was designed and they're not going to change it. Now, that was all true, except now I have purchased two of them. And the, I had the RE7B, the super fast 180 mile an hour RE7B for like two or three days. Boom, they nerfed it down to buck 23 or something like that. So I'm fully expecting to, because of my sacrifice here, that I will completely single handedly rebalance the entire sports car class, because this is going to get nerfed, in my own opinion. If it doesn't, well, at least then I'm prepared. I can I can still compete in sports car classes. Now, not immediately, because I have no money for upgrades. And uh, I really don't think, I don't, I don't know how fast an unupgraded Pariah will be versus, say, you know, a fully loaded King Elegy here. I can, my Elegy RH8. Maybe that's a video for another time. We'll take them both out to... Um, Take them both out to the, whatchamacallit, the Sonora Freeway or something like that and see how they do. Um, I did throw, I mean, they did throw a spoiler on it. That's the only concession I think I've, I've made to that. A spoiler, some skirts, but the spoiler is the only performance enhancement it has just yet. I have no money in, I have no money left. I have less than $100,000 left here, like 70 k um, After I, I, did the video game video you're, you're seeing. I think I did the daily objective, so I might have 95 now. I'd have to double check. Still, less than 100K in the bank, which, don't get me wrong, if I had $95,000 in the bank right now, I would be a happy man. Not any kind of question. But thank God we don't live with the economy that is the uh, Los Santos area, because it's a little bit crazier than, plus you don't have to buy food ever. You know, I guess you could buy snacks, they're just instantly, to, but you know, bringing your health back up. But I mean, that green juice comes back magically. You never have to buy any of that, you know. The alcohol flows freely and you don't have to pay for it. It's, it's a weird kind of non-functional thing. You never have to go out for groceries in, in GTA. You know, there's the, the basic things don't happen, you know. There's a bathroom, there's no way of using it. It's just how it is. It's a, it's a little bit weird that way. So I don't know, you've already probably, if you've seen my, my my last video, well, you know, i pretty frustrated with the whole CEO in pajamas thing. You'll notice in this video, my Vince character has taken off his pajamas. And, um, I might be just done with all the, the, the public what session, three mode before? business stuff. Because you, you just get tired of being blasted by people in Hydras. Tryhards desperately trying to get their, their kill ratio up. I mean, people just messing with you, just w laying in wait for you just to get a little bit of money or a little bit of, you know, fun at your expense. It's all just schadenfreude, and I'm tired of being at that end of things. I don't want to become a tryhard. I don't want to say, okay, well, I'm just going to start ruining people's days. You know, it's my luck I'd be the guy who, you know, decides to just blast some, some kid who's had a really bad day and he just needs one more thing to go wrong, and then he goes in and like you know shoots up a school. You know we don't we don't want to be shot. that guy, and so I'm, I'm losing my taste for the whole free mode kind of thing. Maybe I'll just need a break from it. Maybe I'm just cooked. Um, but now at this point, I'm kind of cooked from the whole game. I'm not I'm not saying I'm done with the, with GTA Online. I'm not saying that because heck, what the heck? I just bought a Pariah. I should have got two of them. Um, I really wanted to get another $800,000 together so that I could get the discounted um, aircraft workshop because that's another that's another deal and I, I wanted to get a, a rogue at some point for 1.2 million and um, do enough missions so I could get a sea breeze for another 800,000 but I mean now you're looking at can't do I want to kill myself for another 12 hours straight you know before before Monday when those deals when that deal goes away on the workshop I'm like no no I'm done with it I'm done with this weekend I am I'm cooked I do not want to I don't know that I want to play video games anymore this weekend I'm I'm pretty well fried and uh, that's not going to be a long term thing I know it's I'll, I'll get over that but uh, it's definitely 
wow it's just you get so sick of just grinding around and grinding but if you want to make money in this game that's pretty much you know missions and you know racing to do a good extent but racing is not you know if you're racing other people then it's there's a big question all you have to do is be bumped off for five races in a row and you've completely wasted your time and then you've got you know racing solo which you're guaranteed you know basically um 5,000 every four minutes or so and if you can get through that all right you can make some money doing that I did do some of that for for this grinding period this grinding 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 um yeah yeah so it's like I, I think a break is in order I need to I need to let my eyes rest and and let you know my characters kind of relax for a little bit here and um see where that takes us. I really, I think at this point, um, I might take a break from GTA videos for a little while. At least making new ones. Okay, that turned out to not be entirely correct. No, it wasn't wasn't exactly we can be I'm a silhouette here. That uh, wasn't exactly how it worked out for reasons which I will explain in the next video, but for right now we're just gonna say no, that wasn't quite how it went, but um yeah, it's cold out, so you can see we have winter storm Riley happening here and all kinds of stuff like that. So what uh then you can't even see me. It's amazing. Can you see me? Can you get am I there? Hello? At any rate. We'll continue with this video. You can see I'm in a very exhausted place, but just, you know, follow along. Wait for the next video. There's more stuff. There's more to come. As far as getting new uh, material, I have so much material I have to voice over. I think I might just take a break until I hit that point where I am out of material to, uh, to voice over. That might be my exit from GTA Online for a while. Unless something really spectacular and fan, you know, fantastical happens. Um, in which case they'll just suck me back in like they always do. But I, I need to get back to doing some Freelancer, some Team Fortress 2. I mean, yeah, old games, I grant you. Um, Star Citizen. Still, I still don't know where they're at with that. Whether I can even get that to run on my system at this point. I have to uninstall and reinstall it pretty much every time uh, something goes down with that. Now, they're supposed to have fixed that. But I'm, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Which is a lot of the feeling on Star Citizen at this point. Um, what else is there? I mean, there's always new games. My my good buddy Gene always used to tell me when I used to work with him, you need a new game. And that was back when I was always playing Freelancer. And so, still going back to Freelancer. I miss Freelancer. Freelancer was a, it, it was, it's a happy place for me. And, I, and I'm, right now, GTA is not. This whole thing with the pride, I feel so leveraged into it. Like, I had not planned on buying this car. I like my LG. That's what I want to race with. But if it's me and an LG against an entire field of uh, pariahs, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep pace with that. I mean, you know, it's a top speed is top speed, and when it's that much of a difference, I'm talking 146 miles an hour like that from the from the pariah versus what's my LG? Is it even is it even 120? I don't even know. It's not a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So. 20 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour difference, yeah, you're going to need another car. It's just how that is. And it's not like it handles poorly. It's not like it's a, a, a Banshee 900R or something like that. This thing will, will move. It, it does things. So here it's like, hey, listen, you like racing? Oh, well, here, give us a million dollars. You get to keep racing. And it's, it's just annoying to me. The whole thing is just annoying to me. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm trying to do some voiceovers. I and mean, there still will be rock star based stuff coming at you. I'm never probably not going to abandon it completely unless I've got something that's really wonderful going on to replace it. Because the problem is, is that the environment that they have built in, in GTA Online is so conducive to making videos because you have so much freedom and you can do so many things when someone is blowing you to crap. But, um, so th there's a lot of opportunity there. And so th th it'll likely be that at some point I'll be picking that back up. Again, you can expect a whole lot more um, GTA videos coming from me, but don't expect to see me online. This is probably the last time uh, I'm gonna hop online for a while to make a video. I may do some, you know, some stuff just to grind up some money so I can set up for do the next thing, but not soon. Not soon. We're gonna take a break. A break is needed. I need a break before I break. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. 
have a great night. <laughs>